The Mess I Call Back Charm Collection. Hi and very welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. Today I want to share my entire bag charm collection with you. I usually don't store it like this, just when I started preparing for this video I collected all of my bag charms and stuff in that box to have it easier to grab to share with you. Initially I planned to do this video in some kind of order, maybe alphabetical by brands or when I got the charms or some kind of thought process behind it, but uh, finally I catched the bad C and I was knocked out an entire week. I was really feeling very terrible. I'm still not feeling that good. I put on some makeup to look better than I actually feel. Luckily I had one video already all prepared and ready to upload, so no one even noticed that I was knocked out for an entire week. Um, I'm starting to feel somewhat better again, but still not that well, so yeah, I didn't take the time to prepare anything. I'm just going to put my hand into this box and take one charm out after another and show it to you and tell you something about it because that's the best I can do right now, feeling the way I feel. And yeah, let's get started. First up we have this Dolce & Gabbana perfume charm. It's not that special. It was a freebie with perfume, Dolce & Gabbana the one. And I do have two bags with me, one with golden and one with silver hardware, so we can put them on a bag and see how it looks. So that's a CD35 for reference and that's a little freebie charm that came with a perfume and yeah, I kept it because I keep a lot. I have hoarder tendencies I guess. Next up is an empty box here, my Louis Vuitton Illustre Escale Collection charm in the pastel colors. Should be inside, but I don't know where I put the charm after I used it the last time, so I probably have to put a picture for you. Sorry about that. Let's stay with Louis Vuitton for a second. I put all of my key pouches, key clays in the box as well, but I don't think we are going to talk about them in detail. I will just quickly grab all of them because they do have their own video that I can link for you and then you can check that out. I think this is one of my key pouches as well. Yeah, that's the Amaran Verni Bordeaux dark burgundy colored one. So that one is covered in detail in its own video as well. I think I'm still missing the black AP leather one that still has the tags attached and I think that's all the Louis Vuitton key pouches for now. Oh no, there's one more. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That sounds right and I consider them as counted and looked at for this video to go on with something you have not already seen. What do we have here? Okay, that's a very plain, no-name little twilly in yellow and grey with golden hardware and I bought it on sale once in our mall for only I think one or two euro so it's nothing special but the silky vibes it was giving me they spoke to me and for that price you can't go wrong so I bought that one. <laughs> a piece uh, I like a lot is this sloth it's by the brand Fossil and it was a collaboration with opening ceremony if you know that brand I have to admit I didn't know it before I bought that sloth bag charm that can function as a little SLG and it has some space for storage. I cannot name what it is but I absolutely love this piece. I think it's so cute and untypical and I adore it and I'm very happy I bought it. I found it at the outlet. I was with my sister-in-law and if I remember it correctly I didn't buy anything else that day but I was so happy with just that piece that it was a very successful trip for me and yeah I do not use it very often but I absolutely love it and it puts a smile on my face whenever I see it, so I think money well spent. Another piece from the outlet is this tassel from, let me check, it's Ted Baker. Unfortunately I don't remember anymore what I paid, but I think it was very much on sale as well. Maybe I paid 20 euro for it. Black with a gold hardware and it's a quite substantial size. Here this grey part has snake skin details to it, but you hardly can notice that, so it goes with a lot. I would say it goes with nearly everything. Let's go on with 
A controversial brand. I absolutely see why they are controversial and why one shouldn't support them. Unfortunately, I absolutely love... Oh, this is the key ring. I removed it because then it is easier to use and I don't like the look of these key rings together with big charm hooks. But I got distracted. What I wanted to say is that I unfortunately love lemons like crazy and the design house of Dolce & Gabbana is very known for their lemon designs so I had a very hard time resisting this bag charm. I spotted it at the outlet years ago and it was quite a good price but I didn't buy it to begin with because I thought it's still too much for a fur bag charm and I don't need it and yeah. But I never was able to forget it and I always had it on my mind and the next time we went to that outlet it was not there anymore and I always had it on my mind so I ended up purchasing it pre-loved and I ended up paying more for it pre-loved in a used condition than I would have spent if I would have bought it at the outlet when I first saw it but sometimes you have these pieces at your mind and you just cannot forget them and then there is no other thing to do than finally get them and I tend to wear it every once in a while in summer. Let's stay with the fur charms a little bit longer this one looks like a Fendi monster, but it's not. It just has the design, which is somewhat critical as well. I got this one as a gift. I hardly use it and wear it because I know that it looks like something it's not, but I couldn't get rid of it either because my sister got it for me. And yeah, it is very fluffy and puffy and huge. If we put it for size reference on my speedy bag, you see, it has nearly the size of my own head. So yeah, for now, that's the only monster I do own. But talking about Fendi monsters, I realize I'm missing at least one piece. Hold on. Some more boxes. Not sure if I should go on with Fendi. Yeah. Let's do Fendi first. So another piece I never was able to forget. I spotted this pouch at the outlet in Zeravalle. I think in 2021 and I didn't buy it back then but I was never able to forget it. I always had it on my mind and when we went to Zeravalle this year, yet again it was gone, it was not available anymore even though I have been thinking about it for nearly an entire year. But it popped up on Vestia Collective, I think on our ride back from the outlet to our home and I didn't buy anything at the outlet and then this piece popped up and I knew I had to have it. It is a pouch for coins or cash or whatever you want. And it is our first key charm that we look at today that has silver hardware. So we switch the bag up and put it on my EP Leather Speedy in black with the silver hardware. And I absolutely adore this piece. It still has the protection foil on that little metal part, but I have already used it with the foil on. So yeah, very happy that I got that piece and finally have piece at mind with it. The next piece is quite a recent purchase that started the idea for this video. It is my Charlotte Olympia Bruce charm. I'm going to link the entire unboxing for you. And in that unboxing I told you I purchased a Charlotte Olympia purse as well, which still has not arrived. I do have quite some <laughs> trouble with the delivery of my package through Vestiaire Collective. It seems like the package might be lost but we're still in the process of sorting that out and if there is an update and I finally get my bag of course I will share it with you and if I don't get my bag or my money back of course I will share it with you as well in an Vestiaire Collective update but so far they seem very reasonable and yeah if they cannot find my bag I probably will get my money back which is a pity since I wanted the bag I scored it at a great price but what can you do? Yeah this is Bruce. Bruce is more of a key charm, not a bag charm, he's made out of porcelain and I'm not going to put him on a bag because it is trouble with that key charm round thingy thing but when I bought him I thought hey why not share all of my charms that I do own and that's that. Another box. I wanted to say it's my only coach bag charm but that's actually not true. I do have two more that are more of keychain charms and they are not that very special so this is the only one I would actually consider a mentioning worthy special one. And the ones of you that do watch my video on a regular basis already will know it is the coach cherry charm and yet again I removed that key ring because I don't need it. I use this as a bag charm. It's a golden hardware piece again. 
I absolutely love this cherry charm. I'm going to link you that unboxing as well. It might have been one of my best purchases of the year because I love cherries as fruits and this piece brings me so much joy. It looks stunning against Damier Eben as well and absolute recommendation if you still can find one at Coach Outlet or Coach Sale anywhere. It's a cutie, an absolute recommendation. This is a Michael Kors charm. I'm not the biggest fan of Michael Kors, but I think they do quite some cute bag charms. Not this one specifically, but I have two other ones that I think are very well made and nice made. This one is just a little orange fur pom-pom. I bought it at the flea market for a very low price. I cannot remember exactly how much it was, but I bet it was under 10 euro. The regular retail would have been 60 euro and it seems to be a outlet piece because there is written our price 39. When I bought it, I considered to gift it to my mom because orange is her favorite color. And then I completely forgot about it again until I searched all of my charms to film this video. So here it is and now I have it on my mind again, possibly to give it to my mom for Christmas. A piece that can better showcase why I enjoy Michael Kors bag charms is this parrot. I think he's very adorably made. He has this different leather pieces suit together and just spoke to me. Let's put him on the bag as well so you can better imagine the size and that's him. And he was available in different colors, I think in yellow as well and in green. And I used to own the green one as well, but since my mom's second favorite color is green, I gifted that parrot to her because I do not have that much green stuff I could combine it with. So I still own the red one and my mom has the green one. I do have one more Michael Kors bag charm, but that one needs the silver hardware bag. It is just a tassel and it has these flower charms that do remind me of Louis Vuitton quite a lot, so that's one of the traits I do not enjoy from Michael Kors that much. Taking a lot of very close inspiration from other brands, but the quality of these charms really is very high and they are very well made and they can hold up to luxury bag charm standards. I think this tassel doesn't look the best on this bag, but yeah. I found all my Michael Kors charms at TJ Maxx for great prices. Well, not all of them. The two I got, unless the orange pom-pom, which I found at the flea market, but these two are from TJ Maxx at great prices. Here we have a little Louis Vuitton bags and I do have an idea what's inside, but I'm not 100% sure, but yes, my thought was right. I think I never shared that piece. It is a black luggage tag in quite a small size. And this luggage tag actually came with my AP Leather Speedy. So I think that's such a cute detail that this Speedy Bandolier even came with its own luggage tag, but I never wear it on the bag. I don't know why. I keep it in the box all the time, but it is a cute detail to come with the bag and came with its own little dust bag. And if I remember it correctly, it even came in its own box with the bag. Does that make sense? Or did I put it in a small box later on? Hmm. Can't promise that for sure. Let's stay in the range of luggage tags. I do have a very patinaed vintage one that came with my vintage Louis Vuitton key ball. Yeah, this one I always leave on the key ball. I just removed it for this video. And as you can see, even though my Speedy is from 2011, it didn't get that much patina. And this one is from a very old vintage piece. I would have to check the date, but I would say early 90s, maybe even late 80s. So this one is a very dark honey color. And I have two more, oh no, actually I have three more luggage tags, but let's go with that set of two first. They are from Espinal of London. They are luggage tags, as I already started the conversation with, in two different sizes. They came with my Espinal of London travel wallet in a set that I yet again found at TJ Maxx, because I love TJ Maxx shopping. And I have to admit, I'm too lazy to put these luggage tags on the bag. So here we just have to use some imagination. They are that nice burgundy color and a very very high quality Safiano leather. I'm a huge fan of Espinal of London, even though I think I only own that travel wallet and the luggage tags, but I really liked the quality. I just didn't get tempted by now to buy anything else from the brand, but I wouldn't say no, cause yeah, high quality for a comparably good price. Then what do we have here? Okay, this is not special at all. It's just a long leather tassel with silver hardware. And I think that one came with a Zara bag of mine. I thought I'll share it with you since it is technically a bag charm, but it's nothing too fancy. And I'm super sorry, I'm losing track all the time and even the not prepared structure that would make sense, I'm not able to keep up with it. 
because there would have been one more luggage tag that needs to be shown. It is this Prada one in black with golden hardware and if I would be well prepared I would show you the bag as well. This tag belongs to but yeah sorry not sorry I'm ill and this is the best you can get from me today. Mm. This is the way it would look on my Speedy 35 and if I'm feeling better while editing I will put a picture for you the bag this tag initially came with. We still have Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Swarovski, another Fossil, Chloe, Coach. Let's go on with something no name. It's this little kind of unshaped <laughs> strawberry made out of leather. It has only this ring charm ring thing. It does come with a zipper so you can store something in the little strawberry and I use it more of a tiny wallet than a bag charm because yet again it would have problems getting attached because it doesn't have this key charm hook but just the ring I know I could get a hook on Amazon for a few euro but I didn't do so yet. Yeah I like fruits and fruit charms and stuff. Then another very unspectacular tassel that came with a Rebecca Minkoff bag. It has silver hardware. It's suede and it's already very used. The matching bag is very used as well. I bought it for a few euro and didn't it to be a DIY project for my channel, but I didn't start with the project yet. Swarovski. It's a little bit dusty. And it's this ice cream that is leather on one side golden hardware and it does come with Swarovski crystals and gold ice cream and I have to admit that I'm not the biggest fan of this charm somehow it's somewhat too pitchy to me but <laughs> yet another great flea market find of mine I think including the box for a charm in brand new condition I only paid 10 euro and then I couldn't let it go so I bought it I have not used it a single time since I got it but Maybe the day will come that I should have polished because it looks very poor and dirty at the moment. It is a little shopping bag by Tiffany & Co. It is sterling silver and it definitely needs to be polished and is a key charm rather than a bag charm as well. Let's go on with my two other coach charms. These are leather kissy lips glittery on one side, leather on the other side. I bought them at Foxtown Outlet in Switzerland for 9 Switzer francs. Tags are still attached so this was a great price. I bought it to buy something but haven't used it yet either. Even though I'm a fan of lip motifs so maybe there will come the day when I finally wear this one. And another TJ Maxx find is this leather C charm from Coach but this one is a key charm rather than a bag charm as well. I think it was only one euro or maybe two, an absolute steal, that's why I bought it but I don't really use it. It's another fossil piece, it is this cute deer. Is deer the female young version? Not sure about that right now. It has this different layers of the body to be put together to be the deer. Found it at the outlet. Hmm. I removed the sale price. Regular retail, I don't know, 29 euro or is that already the outlet price? I paid even less. I thought I would love it as much as I love my fossil sloth, but yeah, unfortunately it's not really the case because it still has the text attached and I didn't wear it by now. Maybe it's a little bit too girly and playful and childish to me, which doesn't make a lot of sense because the sloth is very childish as well and I love that one. Yeah, let's do Louis next. I only own one actual Louis bag charm that is heavy material. I have to admit, I think they are not really worth the price they cost. But I wanted to have one as well and I think the one with the flowers I chose is a very timeless one that does go with a lot and it is beautiful. I probably would never buy one at full price brand new because yeah they cost a hell of a lot of money but I would never say never if I find some pre-loved ones for good prices that speak to me design wise. Absolutely could imagine getting another one. To not make it any more exciting than it is the Gucci charm I was talking about is just another key pouch as well. And I already forgot how the mechanism works. Great. There was a trick to it. Ah, remembered. So, um, quite at the beginning of this video I already said I like to wear key pouches as bag charms. Not really working in this combination because the pouch hangs too low for this small of a bag. But you get the idea and that it is possible to do so. Can you believe it? I put it on 10 seconds ago and I already forgot again how I opened it up. Ugh, pull, push. <sighs> yeah. And the final one is this dusty 
Chloe Paddington lock that still has a protection foil. It came as an extra with my Chloe Paddington bag. I'm not sure how the previous owner of my Paddington bag got that lock because it's definitely not the one that came with the bag because the bag is black and it has a totally different lock. But of course I didn't say no when yeah, I had the chance to get an additional lock. Yet again, this does not really look good on that bag. It is too big and bulky and I have to admit I would still have to find the perfect piece to put this lock on. Uh, still has the protection for it because I never did use it. But wouldn't want to let go of it either. Well, actually that's not entirely true. I once considered selling it on Vestia Collective and I wanted to list it and they said no, it's not suitable for the items they accept. So they turned it down and then I decided, okay, then I'll keep it. My throat is so dry, I have to get a tea now. That were all of my key charms. I didn't count them, but I will count now when I put them all of them back in the box so I don't know what to put in the title and <laughs> the thumbnail. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope for my next video I will be feeling better again and can put up something more interesting and more entertaining. And yeah, hope to see you next time and bye. Um, 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 um,